We deployed to Afghanistan on the 7th of September. And then on Christmas Eve, we were called up to the headquarters compound and given a brief on another foot patrol. We were tasked with giving the other section overwatch and some protection. We started taking up positions. As my right knee hit the floor, that was when I, I knelt on and detonated an improvised explosive device. And I could just hear all the guys around me shouting and that's when I looked down and, and saw the extent of the damage to both of my legs. The next thing I remember is waking up on the 28th of December in Birmingham uh, in the intensive care ward. I was visited by a doctor. He told me that I should start preparing myself for life in a wheelchair. So I, I didn't really want to hear that at that point, you know, and that got to me a lot. The first time that I'd gone past a full length mirror. Now I used to be six foot two, I used to weigh 16 stone. And at that point, you know, without my prosthetics on, I'm probably about three and a half feet. You know, and I have no, no shame in admitting it. You know, I, I cried most of that night. I just lied in bed with Becky and, and just cried and just said, I, I can't do this. It passed pretty quickly once you, once you get it out there, you know, straight away then I was back to, right, let's forget this and let's, let's focus on something more positive and move on. You know, people ask me that all the time. They say, what, what was the main thing that got you through it? And that's what it is. It's the mindset that you get from the Royal Marines that you, you can do anything and nothing's impossible. You know, Royal Marines are very proud people and it, it takes a lot for you to put your hand out and say, I'm struggling, I need some help, can you help me? The only way that I can be a dad, you know, a husband, have a job and, and still contribute to society is by having these prosthetic limbs, which I use every day. The Royal Marines Charity fund my prosthetics for me. You know, none of us can achieve any of this stuff without help and support. The Royal Marines Charity have literally given me my independence back. 